2004 GMC Sierra SLT Z71. Here's yet another one of these full-size GM crew cab trucks. Uh, this generation is getting so hard to find. Uh, this one only has 148,000 miles on it. Very, very low for these trucks if you know anything about them. Uh, they're just such a desirable platform. One of the best GM trucks ever built, I think. And uh, this one is just in fantastic shape. Body and interior are in nice shape. No rust on the truck, sitting on new rubber. So just a, a, a great example of one of these trucks. I'm just gonna try and do a quick video walk around here of this specific one. Show you a little bit more in depth on, on it. Uh, more than what pictures can show or information. So, so I'll just uh, show you the inside, show you the outside, show you the mechanical, and uh, just explain exactly what this one is. Um, as I mentioned, it is a 2004 model. It is the Olympic white color, an SLT model. So this would have been the nicest, uh, nicest Sierra you could have bought back in 2004. Um, coming up here to the front, it's in very, very nice shape. Chrome and, and all the bumpers are in good shape. Front lip is in good shape. You know, it's got a few little little rock chips uh, like that, but, but nothing horrible, nothing that wouldn't touch up. Um, all the headlights are still in good shape. And lower, lower section is in good shape. Coming down this passenger side, it's in good shape as well. We have one little scuff right here that would buff out. One little touch up point right there. Some normal uh, little paint chipping here on the door door edge, but yeah, like I mentioned, there's just no rust on this truck. That's one of the biggest things. You look at these these wheel well edges, and they're just in great shape. You put your hand behind; it's still good solid metal, and in good condition. It does have the factory fender flare, so it gives it a nice appearance. Uh, coming down here to the rocker panels, they're in good shape. I'll try and do the best I can here to show this. It's kind of hard hard to give it perspective but uh, just no rust or, or anything on those they look factory so that's great to see uh, the hood and top end are all in good shape no hail in the vehicle because we've got some water droplets on it but uh, come down this driver's side it's in good shape as well once again just a few little door edge paint chips here a few little scuffs right here that would touch up more little little door so uh, paint chipping but but not out of the ordinary for a 17 year old truck so back here at the tailgate tailgate bumpers are all in good shape they're not all dented up as many of you know it's not uncommon for these to get uh the bumper somebody backs in and hits something with the bumper or something like that uh, the bed is in good shape uh, it's not rusty or anything questionable there you know it's got some some paint uh, chipping so it looks like it's never had a bed liner in it but uh, you could easily put in a a spray in bed liner drop in bed liner if you wanted to make it make it look quite a bit better but it's not all banged up uh, out of out of reason and uh, it's, it's overall just in good shape so uh, looking at the tires it's sitting on pretty new bridgestone dueler tires a uh, very very nice tire uh, practically new tread. This is kind of a, an all-terrain uh, tire, so it's got, got a little bit more meat and, uh, and grip to it rather than just a highway tread would be. Uh, all the way around, just very, very nice tires. That's always a great improvement on these trucks because they, they uh, being a four-wheel drive and stuff, just, just gives that extra confidence. Uh, we'll jump on the inside here. Once again, being SLT, gonna come pretty well loaded up. This one's got the Bose sound system. Of course, all power locks and windows, memory and heated seats. Um, the interior overall is in very, very nice shape. You know, the leather is starting to show some wear. Uh, the camera is kind of picking up worse than it actually is. You know, just some light cracking here, um, some light creasing right here. Uh, but overall, it's not ripped up or anything like that. It's just showing its age a little bit. Uh, but the side bolt screen is all in good shape. You know, once again, a little bit of light cracking here on the side saddle like normal. But uh, the rest of the seats, you know, are in, are in nice shape as well. But just, they're not perfect, but you can't expect that when when a vehicle reaches this age. Um, of course, all, all your headlight controls here shift on the fly four-wheel drive. Looking here at the dash, it's in good shape uh, as far as clean and clear, nothing crazy going on, everything right in the zone where it needs to be. Um, just really runs, runs great. 
I'll go ahead and do a quick key cycle here if I can get the sun to work with me. There we go. Well, it's getting only 148,000 miles on it, so very, very low for these trucks. They're just getting so rare with even, even this low of mileage. I mean, yeah, that's right, low mileage on at almost 150,000 miles. Um, you know, they just they go hundreds and hundreds of thousands of miles, literally. So, uh, multi-disc AM, FM, XM radio, dual automatic climate controls, heat and air is all, all uh, very good. Air conditioning works, and heat is is good and hot. That this one does have the console, a nice deep console. Get here at the back seat, back seat's in nice shape, doesn't show any major wear. Um, you know, once again, just some light creasing and, and soiling here, there, but, but nothing horrible. Carpets are all in good shape, does have the full set of, of uh, GM rubber floor mats. rear seat it's in good shape and just some light creasing once again but the camera kind of makes it look worse and that's just normal for its age just the fact that it's used leather and let's get carpets on the passenger side full-size rubber gm floor mat you know some creasing here once again but you know dual power heated seat so very comfortable and, and ready to go there i'll go ahead and pop the hood here so we can take a look under there Very clean and straightforward under here. Nothing crazy or aftermarket going on. Uh, this has the Bulletproof 5.3 Vortec V8 in it. Uh, one of GM's best built engines this generation, I think. Uh, once again, just very, very solid. Uh, this one runs and drives fantastic. Uh, we ran it through the shop, it looks great. We just did uh, knock sensors on it. So that's a very, very common thing on this uh, this engine in this generation. Um, and so along with that, you get, get a new intake manifold gasket and, and all that taken care of. So, uh, pretty much a turnkey ready to go truck. Uh, very straightforward under the hood. Runs and drives fantastic down the road. Uh, newer tires, loaded up, uh, everything works. And uh, and just a very, very low mileage, hard to find Z71. So if this truck is of interest, uh, feel free to get in contact with us quickly. Uh, the short time we've already had this, we've had people inquiring about it. So I do encourage you, if, if it is of interest, to at least call and, and uh, ask about it or, or find out if it's available um, so it's a very good solid truck uh, no no questions about it so uh, feel free to find us on our website eaglecareautos.com find us on facebook subscribe to our youtube channel to keep up to date with with that and uh, it's miles and brad beckman here at eagle care autos in mcpherson brad he's my dad he's the owner we're just a small family shop we've been here about 20 years so uh, we look forward to the opportunity to serve you whether it's on this truck or something else we may have of interest. Thanks so much for watching.